Oh goodness, you guys, I have so much to share with you that you're not even gonna believe it. Okay, I have tons of drugstore stuff in front of me, but I decided that what I was gonna do, I'm gonna make eyeshadow palettes separate, and I'm also going to make lip products separate. The reason is, is because I have run into so many nice lip products this year, and not only do I want to show you lip products, but I also want to show you some really neat combinations of lips that you can do with the lip products that I've been loving. So that's going to be coming up in a favorites video, probably right after the new year. As always, there will be links and descriptions down below in the box, description box down below. I would love to hear from you guys in each category if you want to tell me, or if you have absolutely just one outstanding product this year that you feel like, man, I love this product and I don't want to ever be without it. I'd love to hear that too. I'm gonna try and go in order. So let's get into the 2019 best of the best at the drugstore right now. Okay, my YouTube family, we're gonna start with primers. And I found this primer because of my good friend, Sherry from Graceful Beauty. This is from Revlon. This is their Color State Prep and Protect primer base. This has an SPF of 34, which I think is fantastic to be able to get it. But the reason that I love this so much is not only what did it make my skin feel smooth and it gave me the SPF pro uh, protection, because SPF, sometimes I find if I don't use the perfect thing, it just makes my foundation look greasy or it can, you know, just make me sweat during the day. This did none of that. It sinks into the skin so beautifully and it absolutely does help those pores and the fine lines and all of that stuff. And this was such a good primer and it wasn't too drying. It felt like it was a little bit hydrating. So that's my number one primer. I also have these two. This one is from Angel Vale and this is the NYX. If you've ever used this, you know that this is the most just perfecting, smoothing primer that you can use. And for me, you can just, you can see it blur it out. You can see it blur out the skin and the pores seem um, less. Your readiness or any discoloration that you might, ha might have seems less even before you go in with foundation. And then it just lays absolutely beautiful under foundation and makes your foundation last a really long time too. So love that. The next one that I got is from Misha and I had to put this in here even though I've only been using it probably six weeks. I wanted to put it in here because this is an illuminating primer. Now it doesn't have any sort of the smoothing effects. It doesn't have SPF or hydration in it, but this has a gorgeous glow to it. So if you have a foundation that you have found that just lays flat on your skin, you don't like it that much, you can mix this one in and it just looks glowy, radiant, beautiful. It doesn't mess with the foundation at all. It just gives it life. Now I will tell you ahead of time that this does have quite a strong like floral uh, powdery smell. And so if you're really sensitive to smells, you're going to want to steer away from this. But boy, for me, I'm telling you guys, it just does the trick and makes that foundation look fantastic. You can wear it under foundation too, but I find mixing it in is a really great trick that makes your foundation look absolutely radiant and beautiful. Three of the foundations that I found this year, I did a found drugstore foundation um, lineup very recently and these were my top three and that has not changed in the six weeks or however long since I did that video from Believe Beauty. This one is sold at Dollar General. This is such an inexpensive product. It is five dollars but it has a semi matte finish so you're looking at a satin finish. It covers, it blends, it lasts. It is such a good product. I don't know how they do five dollars. Glass bottle, pump, it's got just all the looks of a high-end foundation without the price and all the payoff of a high-end high -end foundation without the price. And it is a fantastic foundation. Works so good for me. I will say about all of these foundations is that they have a crummy shade range. They do. They have terrible shade ranges. I'm hoping that if everybody just loves these foundations and they keep them around, that they will get the hint and bring out more shades. The In second one is from Koki and this is their full coverage foundation. This is an awesome foundation too. All three of these foundations check off the box for me for what I need, which is I don't wanna show any texture. I wanna cover up all of my age spots, my scarring. 
I want to be able to have my skin feel like skin, but have a full coverage foundation. And I don't want it to break up or pull away in any of my problem areas, which is usually around my nose and right here on my, my chin. And I don't want it to cling to my dry patches because I do have dry skin. So all of these three do that for me. The Koki foundation is no different and it lasts a long time. The soap and glory, same thing about it. Now I will link that video where I went through the 10, my top 10 foundations at the drugstore. But these are the top three. This is the soap and glory, glory kick butt foundation. And this is the all day wear I love this stuff. This is a repackaged of the CYO Beauty um, from, I think it's Walgreens or Rite Aid, Walgreens, I'm sorry. And this is, it costs more, but it performs the same. It's still the fantastic foundation that you had before. Blurs and smooths and just makes your skin look flawless. And I absolutely love this foundation. I have used it over and over again. A little bit goes a long ways for me. And if you need to, you can just take a little bit more on the areas that you want. Still feels like skin, still doesn't feel like you're caking a bunch of makeup on. So those three were fantastic for me. I did now want to mention the two mix in mediums that I just barely talked about from LA Girl, both of these. This one is the Luminous. Um, this is a Pro Cup pro coverage foundation, but this is a white that I mix into foundations. And if they're too matte in the winter when I feel like my skin is drier and I need a little bit more life, I will put this one in. They do have it in the matte formula as well, the white one in the matte formula as well. But I use this blue one to mix into any of my two yellow or two orange foundations and it tones it down and it makes it towards a neutral or a cool depending on how much you put in there. And I do have a video about doing that to get your perfect foundation shade as well, which I will link to. Okay, powders. Powders for me can be really tricky because I do have dry skin, I have mature skin, and if I'm not really careful about specific powders, they can really tend to cling to the dry patches on my skin. But this one that I did start using in 2019 is from Maybelline, and it's the Fit Me, and I have it in the Fair Light. This one just has a little bit of a yellow cast to it, so it really brightens up my face, which I love about it. And it is so finely milled, and it never cakes up on me. A tiny, tiny bit goes a long way on your brush and you're gonna get just a beautiful set down of your foundation, especially in those summer months when you seem to you know, have more perspiration and our foundation doesn't stay as long, this really does help it. And if you are somebody that can use powder underneath your eyes, this is a good powder for that too because it's light enough and the color of your skin, if you get the right color, it's the color of your skin so it looks very pretty underneath the eyes. And then as a finishing powder, I have to talk about the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I've heard this talked about in so many videos already of their favorites of the year. It's like we all just all of a sudden figured it out, even though it's been around for a few years, but this has the prettiest finish and the prettiest glow to it. I find that if I really have a day when my skin feels very lackluster, I can use this to set everything. I would rather not do that though, because for me, it is just a, a powder that I wanna use to illuminate my face like the Hourglass Ambient powders. They're, those are so touted by everybody. But you guys, I really actually think this is just a tiny bit creamier than that formula is. I love that formula, but I think I like this one a little bit better. Now and for setting spray, there was really only two that I reached for over and over again, so much that I rubbed the, the actual printing off of the Flower Beauty. This is the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I love this because not only does it give me that moisture, but it also locks my makeup in so well and I don't feel like I'm dry all day long. I have dry mature skin, but this one just makes me feel like my skin is dewy and pretty all day long. And then also the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This has, and that's another thing about this one. Sorry, I'm jumping around. This one has the finest spray. I think I will use this bottle over and over again, and I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but it has the finest spray. It doesn't spurt at you. It doesn't spit any droplets at you, and that's what I love about this. This is actually in an aerosol spray, and I use this to spray my eye area. So I'll just close my eyes and spray across there, and it sets my actual concealer right down there. Love this stuff. This was the year that I felt like 
I really finally figured out my under eyes for concealer and what I could do for them. Even though I have fine lines and creases and dark circles and all those aging fun things. So what I do is I take the Catrice Camouflage Under Eye Primer. This is very hydrating. I use this right on top of the moisturizer that I've used after I've let that set in. I'll use that right on top of it, let that set for a while. Then I will go in with whatever primer I'm using. A lot of times I was using the primer that I used on my eyelids. I would suggest that you use one of those that is not like super drying or not super opaque and a very, very tiny bit. So I don't have one of those here today because I don't have a favorite. I've just been using what I got. But after that, I would go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the color Peach. I found this this year. I know it's been out forever, but I love the creaminess of it because I feel like it did not aggravate how dry that skin is under there or make it look more dry, more crepey. Then I also found the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Creaseless Concealer. It's supposed to be waterproof as well. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. This is in C6. And I just found that a teeny tiny bit goes a long way. So using very, very tiny amounts of all of these products in very small layers. I mean, the various, the very thinnest layers you can probably get. But all of these products together, it just made magic for me this year for my under eyes. Do have a video on that too, and I'll make sure I link that below too. All right, for bronzers, I have been absolutely loving the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It. This is in their lightest shade. It's a really good shade for me because I'm so fair, but they do have two other shades that are really pretty. I also like that this doesn't pull orange, which I think is just a fantastic thing. Has a tiny bit of luminescence in it, so it's really great to be able to use during the winter months as well absolutely been loving that blends in so well across my skin and then also milani came out with these silky matte bronzers and i have two of them i have the 01 and the 02 and i use the 02 in the summer right now i'm using the 01 and i just think that they're absolutely beautiful powders in the way that they blend they just are silky and they just seem like a powder that is very luxurious and very high-end and either one of those looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin and I love the lasting power on them as well i actually think these last just a little bit longer than the l'oreal one but they were both very comparable and i use them both a lot okay for blush this year I have to put in my e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I love this stuff. I think that it has an absolutely beautiful texture to it. It blends into the cheeks so seamlessly and so pretty. You can build it up to where it's really stark if you have a darker skin tone or you can sheer it way out. This one is the rosy color, always rosy, and I think they have two other colors. I would very much recommend this to you if you haven't tried it because the price point is just so good. It is a matte blush, but this blush wore so well. And I think maybe it's because of the primer that they put in here, it wears and it doesn't fade all day. I have had that problem with other blushes in the past where you put it on and halfway through the day, you're like, I look like I'm white again. I don't even have any blush on. So I love this stuff so much. And then Milani came out with two new colors of their blushes, which I was so excited about. And so we have colors, Petal Primavera up here and then Sunset Passion or whatever you want to say it down here. So these two colors are so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I love Milani's blushes because of the glow that they give. That's Sunset Passion if you couldn't tell. And then this one is the Petal Primavera. So that one is a little bit more on the rosy side and then that one is a little bit more on the apricot side or the peachy side but both of them are so pretty and i love the look of all these i have several of these in all different colors but i'm so glad that they came out with a couple more colors this year because i just think that they're beautiful blushes you can't go wrong with these because they blend into the skin so well and they give such a beautiful luminescent look to a bit to them so when koki came out with their foundation they also came out with some liquid eyeshadow formulas and then these highlighters and these highlighters are the most beautiful things i have seen in a really long time they're called the soft glow highlighters this one is more pink this one is more golden when you they stick your finger in here you almost feel like this formula is a cream formula it feels a lot like ColourPop super shock shadows it's almost along the same lines as that formula they are 
so beaming and so beautiful. There is not one ounce of any sort of sparkle in here at all. It's just a very shimmery metallic. There, and I love that about it, that you don't have to worry about there being any sort of particles in there. It's gonna go across your cheeks like nobody's business. And I just I think that these just are absolutely intensely beautiful and would completely recommend them over so many that I've tried this year. The other highlighter couldn't do this video without the Cody Air Spun highlighters. These are absolutely the prettiest thing that I've discovered in the year. And this one is called Snow Mint Ice. I did find the other two and I found it on the clearance rack the other day, you guys, I almost died. I'm like, if Cody is not keeping that, I'm gonna be so upset because it is really one of the prettiest highlighters I think I've ever come across as far as the formula. So now, you know the Cody powder. This is as finely milled as that, and it has that same super light texture to it, and it just is perfection glow on your skin. It doesn't show up any texture on my mature skin. I, I am wearing it on my cheeks today, and I just think that it is one of those ones that is almost a must have. I got a backup when I saw that the other day. I actually got the other two colors and I got the backup of this color. Such an absolutely fantastic highlighter that I wear, on, I reach for it all the time because it just lays so pretty on my mature skin and I absolutely love it. We're getting there, we're coming to the end. For a brow product, there's only one that I could actually talk about this year because this is what I've been using for the past six months and it's the Tattoo Studio from Maybelline. This is the brow pomade and you put this on with a brush. I don't have to use any setting gel or anything like that. It just makes my eyebrows stay in place this goes exactly where I want it to because I use a brush to put it on there and, and I, then I use a spoolie to kind of just tame those hairs a little bit. But and mine is in ash brown and I found that I love switching over to that darker color because I've been using taupe for such a long time that I felt like it was kind of washing me out a little bit. Love this product so much, you guys. So if you have been searching for a good pencil, but you haven't been able to find a pencil and that's what was going on with me, I finally switched over to the pomade and I'm sold. All right, outperforming every single mascara that I have had this year is the Maybelline Lash Sensational sensational. I always get tongue tied and the cover girl exhibitionist mascara. Both of these, they perform the same way in that they give me length and volume and separation. And I love them. They do have very, very different wands on them though. This is a lot like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. That's what the wand is like. But both of those flaked on me. This one doesn't. Now this one I do have in the waterproof formula, which I'm testing compared to the original formula. I think I like the original formula better for my top lashes, just because it's a little bit easier to get off. But if you have trouble with any smudging whatsoever, you're gonna wanna pick up that waterproof formula because it's really good. And then the Lash Sensational one from Maybelline, it does have a little bit of a curve to it. This is the plastic bristles. This is not the actual ha uh, like hairbrush brush bristles, which is on the last sensational. So both of these performed really well for me. And you know, I am really loving my natural lashes because they're growing so much because of my eyelash serum that I talk about all the time. So I really do love both of these and really fell in love with them so much in 2019 because of what they did for my eyelash volume. And then last but not least is liners. You guys, this is a huge thing for me this year because I really like a liner that is going to go into the waterline. It's gonna stay there. It's gonna just look popping. It's not going to be one that is going to come down my face. And I felt like all of these fit the bill for that. Um, these ones from Milani, I had a tendency to, if I was going to line my waterline, I actually lined my under eye also with those because there was some times when it wouldn't like completely set down. But I do can tell you that on this formula, if you go in and you actually put a coat on and then you go in and you put another coat on, you're going to have them be there for a really long time. So I'm going to show you that one is called Brown Burst. Oh, by the way, the metallic ones on these, this one's called Blue Ray, I think. The metallic ones on these may be being discontinued, which I'm so upset about. But if they are, I'm gonna go in and get more. I, You guys, it's a creamy formula. It reminds me of Marc Jacobs Highliners. This one is the slate color. They are so incredibly saturated and just 
they blend across your eyes so good and i just love that about them and then this one is the plum one it really doesn't look that plum but it is in person it's a little bit better but they're just the best you guys they're supposed to be a waterproof formula which once they dry down they are and they're even more waterproof if you decide to put some sort of an eyeshadow on top of them i really like just the regular formula too but the metallic just seems to pop and remember a double coat so put a coat in your waterline let it set for a minute and then right before you're done put another coat in there and they just seem to last forever on the eyes. Okay, the last thing on my list for 2019 is the Ardell eyeliners. These are fantastic for the waterline, you guys. I heard about these from Dr. Danny off of her channel. I will make sure that if I, I talk about anybody, I will make sure that I link them below so that you guys can go visit and see them. Now, this one is the plum color right here. It's a purple color. It's a really beautiful purple color, actually. And then the next one is their blue color, which is really pretty too, more of a navy blue, but it does have a spark of blue, you know, lighter blue in it, and then the black. And you guys, did you see how creamy they were and how buttery and how easily they went on? When you put these in your waterline, you don't wanna do what I just said about the Milani, where you put a coat on, wait a minute, and then go back because these are gonna to stick to your waterline so good that if you go back, you're actually gonna take them off with that second coat. So what you do is you just get them as dark as you want to the first time, let them set up, and they're there for hours. This is the only liner that I've ever found that lasts and lasts and lasts. And I did hear Sabrina talk about this on her channel as well. And she's right, Dr. Danny's right. These are fantastic, and I hope that they don't do away with this formula such a good formula you guys and the milani ones those are not um, automatic or retractable ones but these ones are they are the they are the automatic ones and then on the very tip of them they do have a little sharpener with a little smudger on there if you want it to so you guys that was a really long video but i had a lot to talk about and this is my favorite video of the year to share with you guys i hope that you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up i am actually losing my voice i've talked so much the second video i do have this look that is coming for you this party teal look coming for you guys thank you for spending a part of your day with me if you hung in here till the end i do really appreciate it please hang in with me till the end on the eyeshadow palette video my favorites of 2019 because i will have something special for you guys in that one everyone please stay happy and healthy and i will talk to you all in my very next video love you Bye bye